Hey, what's going on? It's Bill DeWeese, Pro Voice Over Talent and Voice Over Career Coach, with a friendly reminder that it's not about you and it's not about me. So if it's not about us, who is it about? Well, let me take you back. Do you remember, maybe in high school or perhaps early in your college career, you took an introduction, intro, intro to comm class, introduction to communications, and you learn the basic communication model. There's the sender of the message. There's the message itself, and there's the receiver, and there's all this stuff, interference that can happen between the sender and the receiver. Let me cut right to the chase. What's most important in that model is not me, it's not you, it's not even the message, believe it or not, but it's the person receiving the message. Everything has to be tailored and fit and targeted to the precise need of the person receiving it. Otherwise, the message doesn't matter and what we have to say doesn't matter. And the reason I want to bring this up is because oftentimes, especially early in somebody's career when I'm working with them, I would say over 99% of the time, they make it about themselves. And it's easy to do. It's so easy to do. And, and how can I tell? Well, you can tell because the person is very much into their own head. They're very much listening instead of thinking about what they're saying and thinking about the person who's receiving this and what they need from that. They're thinking about how they sound. Do I sound good? Should my voice be lower? Should it be higher? Should I talk faster? Should I talk slower? Should I be pausing here? They're very much into their own head. And if that's where that's in, when we first get started, that's where we are all at. But we have to move beyond that. We have to ultimately understand that even beyond the message, it's the person receiving the message. Everything is about them because if it doesn't hit the target, if it doesn't land intellectually, emotionally, it doesn't matter. The message doesn't matter and the sender doesn't matter. So when you're looking at a script, and we're not doing a deep dive in how to, to, you know, how to handle the script uh, or even how to give the read, but what I want you to start with is the premise that the receiver of that message is the most important person. And if you begin to imagine who they are and what they need from this, you've gone a long way toward preparing yourself to give the best read possible. Because at the end of the day, this is not about how you sound, it's about, this is communication. And uh, for, that, for that to land and be effective, we have to understand that target, who they are, what they want, what they need, and be able to relate on that level. So I hope, again, I hope you find this helpful, but remember, it's not about you, it's not about me, but it's about the person we are talking to. Always make them the object of everything you do when you're behind the microphone. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I appreciate it. If you need help in growing your voiceover career, or maybe, you know, maybe you're stalled out and can't seem to make progress, uh, maybe you're just getting started, not really sure where to start. Well, the VoiceOver Blueprint program is what I've put together to help you with that. And to find out more, just go below this YouTube video to the link. You can sign up for a for a brief discovery phone call to learn more, get your questions answered, and see to see if you're a good fit for it. So thanks again. I hope you'll like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk again very soon.